Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, oh, I feel so much better today than yesterday. And um, my reading at night, I just did not feel good yesterday, but today I feel so much better. And um, might have to do with the fact that I slept almost eight hours, which I have not done in months, maybe even the past year. Um, so I hope you guys are feeling better. Let me know how you're doing. I try to respond to everyone. Um, I'm playing some instrumental country music. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been talking a lot about um, my me watching Heart of Dixie, and um, I just really have gotten into the show. I wasn't Netflix binging during the whole pandemic, but I've been doing it since my surgery, and um, this actually is playing Take Me Home Country Road, which um, this other artist did a version of this, but it just the song always makes me really melancholic and sad. But... Um, Anyways, the reason why I'm bringing up the music and the show is just because watching the show, it's like I've been feeling like um, pieces of wreckage of my soul from like my past heartaches, even before my twin. Watching the show, something about myself has like returned, um, an old version of me. And um, I think that that's what this journey has kind of, it like wrecked us, right? It just was like wreckage to everything we were before our we met our divine masculines if you don't have a divine masculine you don't have a twin flame you're probably not relating to what i'm talking about but um it's crazy how like a tv show just can mirror everything in our life is a mirror so even though um you could watch a show from years ago but it's like you're watching it just like you're watching your reading exactly when you're supposed to be watching it because there's something about it in the show or in whatever you're viewing, anything, whatever you're listening to, um, reflecting um, a part of you back to yourself. So um, anyways, I hope that whatever you guys go through today or whatever journey you're on, you can um, remember that you were existing before you met your masculine and maybe you have been traveling with this twin in all your lifetimes but um there's still a you outside of them and there is still a way that you can have um a life and a new beginning that doesn't involve them and you can live and you can exist and you can be who you are you are a complete person and you have things about you that they have not shared with you in the physical so just remember that okay so i like that i'm gonna go back to the beginning i'm gonna use that song again okay so this is a compilation of all these country songs, but I liked this one better. So, all right. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine um, journey today. So I'm starting my reading at three minutes. Um, let's see what your masculine is thinking about, what they're feeling, and what they're going to do, okay? What they're thinking about, what they're feeling, and what they're going to do. what they're thinking about, what they're feeling, and what they're going to do. Okay, what they're thinking about. Well, they're conflicted in their thoughts, okay? So they might not know what they're going to do, but this is just the card for what they're thinking about. They're conflicted. They're battling in their mind. They've got a lot of different aspects to their life, a lot of different agendas. Money is here, okay? So they might be actually thinking about some like financial affairs with someone who they're battling with. It could be like legal issues. Um, some kind of money that someone maybe owed them or took from them or like business owners fighting, something like that, okay? So that's kind of where their mind is at right now. So let's see what they're feeling. Nine of Cups, Satisfaction and Wish Fulfillment. I feel this is the feminine that they're wishing for, okay? They're wishing to, as cheesy as it sounds, like dance again with the feminine, have another rendezvous. Um, they dream about this. In their heart of hearts, they really just want to, I think, see the feminine and feel, um, feel uh, connected to her emotionally, okay? In their heart of hearts. But they have these things on the outside that consume them. And it's almost like it frustrates them and it's not a happy source, but it also um, is a good distraction from thinking about the feminine, okay? So they're using all these money conflicts and these job conflicts as a way to avoid thinking about what it is that they really want here, okay? 
This is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot from Mystic Moon. What are they going to do? Um, they're going to eventually pursue the their love. They're going to pursue their true love, which is you, the Divine Feminine, okay? So it's in there. It's in their heart. And eventually they're going to align with their ultimate desires. Um, they're not going to run forever, okay? And... This is, I could say, oh, well, they'll, they'll pursue this twin flame connection even in another lifetime. But I'm talking about what are they going to do in this lifetime? What is, what's the future look like? And they will reunite with their true love, which means you guys will reunite. And I can't make any promises, but if they don't do that, then it's not really aligned with their true wishes and their true desires, okay? So I'm going to use my places, faces, memories, um... Uh, blast from the past to get clarity on each one of these, okay? So, picture taking. Hmm, interesting. Um, so, this conflict now, I feel, is also about pictures they've seen of the feminine. They're mentally thinking about it. And they're going like back and forth between, nope, got to think about work. Nope, can't stop thinking about her picture. Nope, got to think about work. Oh my God, that picture, you know? And so I feel like that's, there's definitely something with having viewed some pictures. And they could have seen something that was kind of, um, I'm just trying to get to a different cell. That was the only one on here. These are supposed to be 25, like, known country songs. And I don't... And I love country, but I don't recognize any of these. Let's see. But I don't want words. So, um, they, uh, sorry guys, hold on. Of course you have to hear the ad. Okay, I don't know if they're gonna play. Okay, because if they do words, then they're gonna, um, they might uh, go out of my video. So let's just see if I could get, um, I'm gonna switch to back to like a Reiki nature sound music, okay? Sorry guys. All right, um, so let's see what's in their wish fulfillment. What do they desire? What are they wishing for? I'm wishing on a star. Swimming pools. <laughs> okay. Um, they are wishing to jump in. Okay. They're wishing to have fun. They're wishing for sunlight, joy, happiness, young, you know, whatever swimming pools like means to you. Cause it, I feel like it means something to every, but this is like relaxing. They wish to have a joyful time to me this is from my blast from the past so this is a lot about childhood youth they're wishing to connect to that kindred spirit that makes them feel young and happy and joyful and just like having lazy happy joyful days by the pool okay so what about this lover's card 70s okay so they want this like free love they want a love that makes them feel alive and free and um, joyful and relaxed, okay? I don't feel they're relaxed right now. I feel like they're actually quite stressed out um, with financial matters. And it's like, you take them away. Um, take me away to better days. That um, Natasha Bedingfield song. So let's get some more clarity on these messages. Get closer to me. Darling, if you want me to be. You guys might be at a physical distance, emotional distance, but they feel the distance, they feel the gap, and they want to get closer to you, okay? Forever your girl, okay? So they want to know, they want that security that you're, you're still theirs, and that this is like this contract, this promise, and I feel they could, I've been saying this for a few days, I feel they could feel the feminine slipping away, and they need that sense of security, and they're not getting it in the distance. So they want you to get closer to them somehow. But, you know, this person in the past has probably pushed you away. So it's very confusing. Safe with you. Um, yeah, there's. they need that security. They need that sense of safety. And they might be feeling like they're losing it. They're losing that sense of, like, is she still there? Does she still feel me? Um, so... 
um, they want that confirmation too. All right, let's get from Mystic's Midnight Oracle and see what are some of their fears when it comes to this dynamic, what's really going on. And I'm actually going to clarify that by the um, Dark Knight of the Soul Tarot. Okay. So I don't want to like, I'm trying to separate these cards before the piles get too much because then at the end of the reading, it's so overwhelming to do that. So, um, okay. So we're going to see the Dark Knight of the Soul Tarot and Mystic's Midnight Oracle. What is really going on with this person? Why are they, if they want to get closer to you, what's holding them back? It could be financial matters too because we got that at the beginning of the reading, right? So what's holding this person back? Imp of Sorrow, this is Page of Cups, Crocodile Tears. So this is sort of like an immaturity, also an emotional unavailability. They still don't feel like they are, they have what it takes to step up to the plate in a true mature relationship. They, they feel like a child, um, they're still not even genuine or able to be emotionally vulnerable. They have a lot of fears. And I feel like it's because of maybe someone that abandoned them in their life in the past. Um, they're afraid of loss. They're also afraid if they get into their emotions, it's going to be like this outpour. And they're just going to, they're afraid to feel anything because once they start feeling, it's like an avalanche of emotions we have crocodile tears and then we have 10 of sorrow so it's like there's actually a lot of emotion here that this person is afraid to feel okay this is also piscean energy with the page of cups could also be cancer scorpio another sorrow card lost in time um i feel like their innocence was like maybe lost as a child their ability to emotionally connect um I also feel that like a lot of time has maybe gone on between you guys and they just feel like they don't know how to rectify it. They don't know how to face any of this emotionally. It's all a lot to face, okay? So let's get some other messages from Mystic's Midnight Oracle here. What other energies are here? Doll parts, torn to pieces, scattered and discarded. I feel this person, they've gotten hurt in the past. And when they did this, you guys, I just was talking about before the reading, I must have been channeling something about pieces of myself that were lost in the wreckage and that they're resurfacing. So this might be what the masculine is experiencing too. Like at some point in his life, even before he met you, and then when he met you, he was torn to shreds. And it's like, he can't even get in touch with who he is anymore. He's just fragmented at this point he's lost he's lost at sea okay he's lost in the like in the vast ocean of his emotions um we've got wicked witch conquest defeat triumph i also feel like a part of him is scared that this is just a game like do you just want him because he's unavailable are you gonna hurt him once you get him can he trust you because he's projecting his insecurities of prior feminines in his life on you okay Another thing about, like, this isn't a deck about the sea, but we had all those sorrow. I said lost at sea, and then we have vanished, adrift, and vacant. A lot of abandonment wounds come up. A lot of disconnection from self, okay? So this masculine, at one point in his life, got so badly hurt that he disconnected, I feel, from himself, okay? Um, and he lost himself. And it's almost like he feels like who he is is vanished, is gone. Okay, let's get some more tarot because that's what I'm feeling right now. The fool. There's also this immaturity still here. That's an Aries energy. He's afraid to take a chance. He's afraid to get hurt. King of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. He does know that there's a side of him that has this passion that sees that he could be the King of Wands. There is this there could be these dual sides to him where like one part of him is very immature and one part of him knows what he wants and wants to take action and has this passion for the feminine. A lot of fire sign energy here now and the sun. 
I feel he's waiting for the moment where it all feels clear. And he's waiting for that moment to take a chance, but he's not realizing the moment is now, okay? So um, he's afraid to take any leaps of faith, but he knows that that's what he needs to do. And he thinks there's just going to be a day where it just the courage just magically appears. Got Earth Guardian and Fire Guardian. Stay rooted and grounded and ignite your passions. That's what I just said about the King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign, or you could be a fire sign or earth sign. Um, but this is also what he's trying to balance is staying grounded, but also going after his passions, being realistic, but also going after his feminine. And Sky Father, trust in the unknown. So he has to build his trust and his faith here, okay? All right, let's see. Is that all I'm going to do? I think I might end there and just do some charms. Ways that... You've got the star, which is that wish fulfillment, that wish, okay? I'm wishing on a star. I feel this horse represents his, like, sexual passion still towards the feminine. You guys have been maybe getting a lot of sacral energy. We have um, guitar. So music, you guys are still connecting that way. We have a crown. This is like how I feel like he sees the feminine as a queen. And then we also have a sun here. So you guys could definitely be dealing with a Leo, but I do feel like also this is a sign of brighter times ahead where wishes will be fulfilled, okay? And let's get some letters here. Got G N Z V. It's hard to even dig for these. R A. What is this? A U. Okay. Let's see if I can get it. There's just too many other charms in here. Okay. And we've got E, uh, an elephant that was randomly in here. Q, L, E, Z, okay? So those are the letters. And then the elephant, I just feel like this is a soul connection. It's a deep spiritual journey that you're on with your um, divine partner. And just to trust it and also stay rooted, stay grounded, stay connected, okay? All right, so that is your reading. Did I say V, Q, Z, L, E, G, N, A, and R? All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.